Two years ago, WWF published a vision of 100% renewable energy for the globe by 2050. And in that context, biomass and, and bioenergy play an, an important part, but a part that is set in a hierarchy of uses so that we're careful to only use the, sustain, the sustainable amount of, of bioenergy. And in that, we find that biofuels can play a role, but primarily over time for those areas where there aren't that many alternatives, such as heavy transport and eventually fuels for shipping and aviation. In the meanwhile, we are concerned about making sure that we developed advanced biofuels from wastes and residues because those show the greatest potential for avoiding conflicts over land, over food, um, and other uses. Like many organizations, we've waited a long time to have a proposal from the European Commission on indirect land use change. And we see that there are some good elements to it, and we're glad that they put forward a proposal that now the Parliament and Council can take a look at and amend with some improvements. We do think improvements are necessary. Uh, for one thing, we don't have proper definitions of what kinds of waste and residues qualify uh, above the 5% cap limit. And we need to know that we are using these advanced resources as, responsibi as responsibly as we can so we don't come to any kind of conflict. Um, over those. Uh, we think that the cap is in general a good idea uh, in order to place some limits on first generation biofuels, but we do think that ILUC factors would be necessary across all of the sources and that that should be then uh, put in harmony with the fuel quality directive and introduced there.